smartphones are a part of our everyday lives, but this is no ordinary smartphone. It changes everything. When I'm ready to use it, all I have to do is flip it open and I get a full-size 6.7-inch screen with hardly any bezel. With this phone, we've done the impossible and created ultra-thin glass that folds. Now, you might think that a foldable glass would be brittle, but this glass is built to last, and it protects your screen from scratches. It's so durable, you can fold and unfold your phone over 200,000 times. We push mobile engineering to its limits to create this device, and none of it would have been possible without our new one-of-a-kind hideaway hinge. Oh yes, the hinge is the backbone of any folding phone. It quite literally holds the whole thing together, and it also prevents particles like dust and sand from getting into, this, into the phone and damaging the display. If you're watching YouTube and you want to leave a comment, you can watch on the top half of your screen and comment on the bottom. The Galaxy Z Flip is a new kind of device to kick off a new decade of Samsung innovation, and we can't wait to see what you, can, what you do with it. It can be yours from February the 14th, and it's available starting at $1,380. To show you today, and we are just getting started. So last year, when they launched the Samsung Fold, um, I would say that was their kind of first big attempt at uh, doing a smartphone with a foldable screen. Um, to be fair, you know, it wasn't commercially launched yet uh, when they hit all those hitches. And so, um, I think this time around, uh, they worked out a lot of those kink, or hopefully they worked out a lot of those kinks beforehand, uh, before launching. As far as success uh, goes, I think it's still a little bit too early to say. Uh, not only for the device itself, but for flip devices in general. I think it's still trying to uh, find a market, uh, find applications that are valuable to end users, whether you are a uh, professional you know, enterprise business user, uh, prosumer, or general consumer. We're on the third generation. I do think there's a little bit of carryover for people saying, oh, those phones have issues. And I think once you see more in the wild and people's, your friends have them, I think it's going to go over quite well. And Samsung needs to deliver on this one like they did in version two of the Fold. Uh, compared to the flip, it's really more about style and being smaller as opposed to being larger. It's more convenient. You can fold it and stick it in your pocket or your purse. <laughs> 